Hello everyone, my name is Mike. This is my first ever Goodful video. Go easy on me, figuring it out as I go along. I'm currently in my parents' kitchen, which is a whole 2020 mood. You may or may not see my parents' dogs coming in and out of the kitchen. They spark joy and they spark chaos. I have a very special guest here to help introduce what we are making today. Darling sister, welcome. This is Becky. What are we making today, Becky? We are making my grandma's stealth cake. She called it stealth cake. My grandma devised a way to hide vegetables inside chocolate cake, hence the name Stealth Cake. Not only is there some tofu hiding in here, but there's also carrots and zucchini. Becky, were you an adventurous eater as a child? Nope, I was very, very picky. <laughs> what were your foods of choice? The cereals food group, so bread, the dairy food group, and the sugar food group. There were smells and textures that bothered me, and she found a way to make them wonderful. So we've got flour, sugar, cocoa, baking powder, baking soda, salt, vanilla, tofu, carrots, egg whites, zucchini, oil. She also had in the recipe to do prune butter. I don't know where on earth somebody finds that. Instead, we did pumpkin puree mixed with honey concoction, melted butter, and melted baking chocolate. Let's get started. I think there's a little bit of wiggle room for what order I do this in. So I'll do the one that excites me the most first, which is to liquefy the vegetables. For this, I'm gonna liquefy carrots, zucchini, egg whites, vanilla tofu until very fine. The liquefaction is done. Thank you, Becky, for your help. I'm gonna combine the dry ingredients together because we'll be sifting that into the liquid ingredients later. So now I'm gonna do the wet ingredients. Technically what the recipe said was to liquefy the egg yolks and then fold in the egg whites later. What happened is I didn't read it properly, so I accidentally liquefied the egg whites. You know what? It's all going in the same place. I've got all the liquids mixed in, except for this veggie tofu concoction. Time to add this bad boy in. Let's whip it up. All right, Becky, I know you're busy doing PhD student work, but Look, look what I did. I'm so uh, proud of you. It's beautiful. <laughs> all the liquids and all the dries. I think it's time to put them together, make them kiss. Okay. Look at this. She's all ready to be baked. Got my oven pan. Oven cake pan? What's this called, Becky? Baking dish. I've got my baking dish. There it is. Gonna put it in the oven and then check on it in 32 minutes. While the cake is cooling, I'm going to make the cream cheese frosting. There's powdered sugar, butter, cream cheese, vanilla extract, and salt. Obviously, feel free to do any kind of frosting that you want. I saw some fun looking healthier cream cheese frosting recipes. Go wild, y'all. Live your truths. The first step is to combine the butter and cream cheese in the bowl using the mixer. My grandma had a stand-up mixer. I have this and this will be my workout for the day. Supposed to do this until all the lumps are out, so that might take a little while. Now I've added vanilla extract and the salt. Next step is to slowly add in powdered sugar. It says have the mixer on low, but the mixer is me and my strength, so. Urgh, damn it. <laughs> so this is too thick. I read on the internet that I can add a splash of milk to make it thinner. Put a little bit of milk in here. I transition to a spoon because it gives me better leverage. <sighs> Only a little bit of a mess, but a lot of sweat. Ordinarily, I would probably just frost it in the pan, but I kind of want to frost the whole thing and I think it'll look better that way. That is, if the cake comes out in one piece. Moment of truth, it's the moment of truth. Oh, there we go. Now I attempt to frost the cake. I think there's probably a right way to do this. I don't know if I have all the right tools for it, so I'm gonna wing it a little bit. I'm gonna put it at the top. I'm gonna try something I haven't done before and attempt to put some texture into the frosting so it doesn't look like a five-year-old did it, which is like not that inaccurate. Put a little swirls into it. Great, now I'm going rogue and trying something with a fork. So it's somewhat more presentable now, 
but as a final touch, and I'm gonna shave some chocolate on top of it. Welcome back, Becky. Here comes the moment of truth where we see if it actually a, is edible, and B, tastes anything like the cake that grandma made. Cheers with our plate. With our plate. Cheers. That's stealth cake. That's stealth cake. You did it. I made grandma's cake. You made grandma's cake so good. You know, some people, you still have foods that you're not okay with later on, and that's okay. Thank you, Becky, for your help. Thank you, everyone, for joining us in this adventure. Let me know what you think in the comments. Well, there's a bunch of cake left over here, so I'm gonna- Whatever will we do? Whatever will we do?